interruptions like we need those. And what we have here today are some Raceland coilovers that I'm going to install on my 2003 Mach 1. Uh, and basically, I've been wanting to lower the car for, well, since the day I picked it up. Uh, and I had two options, coilovers or bags. But obviously bags are on the $2,000 side, which I don't have the money right now. And coilovers do the same thing basically as bags, except they're not controllable and they're a lot cheaper. Um, so I was looking at forums and everything. And I ran across these Raceland coilovers, which run around uh, $600 for the pair, plus caster camber plates, which is a pretty good deal. As I was looking through the forums, I had mixed reviews about them. Uh, the ride quality, they said it was pretty good, um, but there are some people call them Riceland coilovers uh, because basically they're used a lot in the import scene. Um, there are a few Mustangs that run these, um, and they seem to do the job real fine. Uh, they drop it real nice, and that's basically what I'm looking for. Yeah, let's go ahead and take these out, and I'll show you how to install them. Alright, so I went ahead and took off the wheel and jacked up the car. Uh, I didn't figure it was important to show you that. Um, but basically what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and uh, take off the brakes. And uh, I think these are two 15 millimeter bolts that are right behind this. So we're just going to go ahead and unscrew those. And then we're going to go ahead and take off the rotor. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Now when you have the brakes removed, we're gonna go ahead and take this um, this nut and bushing off the control arm. This is gonna be the first step to taking off the suspension. Uh, once we do that, then we're gonna go ahead and take off this strut. Uh, there's two bolts right here, but this is gonna be super easy. This is a 15 millimeter bolt. Boom, and just like that. And you wanna go ahead and take off the bushing as well. And you wanna make sure to keep all your nuts and bolts together. Uh, it's just a little bit easier so when you do put everything back together, uh, you know where it is and you don't have to go around looking for stuff. So you wanna make sure to put the jack under the suspension because uh, once we do lower the suspension, the spring is gonna be under a whole lot of pressure and you do not want that popping out right in front of your face. So this is gonna keep the suspension held up uh, for the meantime and once we do need to take out the spring, we can safely lower it slowly and slowly and it'll come out easily. There are two bolts that are holding up the shocks. Uh, these are both seven eighths. Um, these are the last two bolts that are gonna loosen up the suspension and then we just have the Kattenberg caster plates that we have to remove and this is gonna drop all the suspension. That didn't sound good. Guys, what are that ah, but I got it. Ah. See kids, sometimes in life, you're gonna have hardships, struggles, but then you're just gonna learn to overcome them. Kind of like this. It's a life lesson really. This is basically already coming off together. Uh, we just have to remove some nuts um, in the engine bay and this is gonna get rid of this and then we can just install the coilover or actually we can just remove the spring and then install the coilover. So it's a pretty easy process from here. And basically we just have to remove these, these four nuts, um, especially this one right here. Uh, since this one does have that line, we're gonna have to put in a screwdriver and twist this as it goes and these bolts are basically self-explanatory we can just remove them easily but this is going to be able to remove the shock uh, which is going to help us uh, remove the suspension altogether. so let's go ahead and do this Ooh. 
now that the shocks are out, we're going to go ahead and install these caster camber plates. Um, it's not going to be perfect. I am going to take the car to get aligned. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just going to uh, kind of eyeball it. Uh, it's not going to really matter that much. It'll be fine from here to the mechanic shop. Um, so yeah, this is just a pretty simple installation. Just going to put it underneath and then on the top. And then after that, we can lower the spring, put in the, put in the front coilover, and then we should be good for the front side. <laughs> You see what I mean? You see what I mean about sketchy? But but luckily it came out. But luckily it came out with no problems. So we just have to install the coil over. That's it. Now that the coilover has been installed, you want to make sure to put everything back together just the way it was. Uh, so I already tightened the caster camber plates and tightened everything that's up here. Uh, we just have to put the brakes back on, uh, adjust the height, and just lower the car and then we should be good to go. So it is currently the next day. Unfortunately, it was getting late for me and I had class the next day uh, So I just got back from class and I just wanted to show you the progress that we made on the front side And I'm really loving the way it looks uh, What is on jacks right now since we are gonna do the rear install, but this is basically how the front looks like uh, Just imagine it with uh, maybe one centimeter one centimeter higher, but that's basically how it's gonna look. Uh, it's very low um, For some reason, I don't think the back is gonna be this low Which is completely fine since since I do want it higher and the back and lower in the front just so it gets that meaner stance. I'm really happy with the way it's looking and overall these race line coilovers are doing me a pretty solid job. Uh, right now we just have to do the rear, which is 10 times easier than the front. So let's go ahead and start that. All right, so the rear coilovers are so much easier to install compared to the front. Uh, basically all we need to do is remove this shock, remove the brake line, take out the spring, put in the, put in the coilover and then we should be good. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, hopefully it shouldn't take me more than half an hour to do. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and start by removing the shock. There's just one 18 millimeter bolt that we have to remove, so let's go ahead and do that. So Raceland does supply you with this perch that goes right on top of where all where the old springs used to be. And in order to get a lower effect, I just take off the locking rings. I take both of them out, so it does lower the car about half an inch more. Uh, it's just preference, you don't have to do this, but I do want my car to have the lowest stance possible. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take off these locking rings. All right, so I just finished installing the coilovers on my 2003 Mach 1, and it looks pretty awesome. Here, I'll show you how it looks. This isn't the final result yet. Uh, for the back, it is. As you can see, it's basically touching the fender. Uh, I can't even fit my fingers. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll have to roll the fenders or anything like that, uh, but we'll see over time. I'm gonna go test drive it tomorrow and see how it looks. Uh, the front is really low it looks basically bagged from this angle uh, that's definitely gonna have to be uh, raised about probably an inch uh, but overall the stance but overall the stance looks super mean especially with the window tint and the roof 
The stance looks so mean. I'm actually really happy with the results. Um, they were pretty easy to install and uh, yeah, uh, so I'm super happy with the results. Uh, it was pretty simple to install and uh, make sure to stay updated with the video since the next video I am going to test drive it and show you um, the ride quality and everything like that and I'll kind of give a comparison of stock and how it is before and if the $600 Raceland coilovers are even worth it. Uh, it's just going to be my opinion but, but it'll be pretty interesting to see if you're in the market looking for coilovers if this is the one for you. Um, so I can give you my personal opinion and uh, hopefully you can learn something from it. But yeah, uh, if you like what you saw, feel free to drop a comment, let me know what you guys thought. Give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.